A lot of people who are signing uh, forced arbitration clauses are essentially um, pursuing claims in arbitration. Those are private proceedings. They generally uh, come with non-disclosure agreements, so we don't actually know. But I would also say I think it's just gotten harder to bring these cases that um, the Dukes versus Walmart decision a few years ago, which really tightened the requirements for class certification and, and just made it much harder to bring a large class action employment discrimination mm -hmm. That case. was sex discrimination. That was sex discrimination. Um, and I, it, you know, it is it, one of the concerns about uh, preventing collective arbitration is that for individuals, the cost-benefit analysis, the math doesn't work. Someone, someone may have a few hundred dollars of unpaid wages, but might have to feel that he or she had to have a lawyer to handle the arbitration. It's just not worth it. The same considerations apply to litigation, um, and perhaps even more so because litigation is drawn out. Um, I used to litigate, and I would just as often advise clients not to sue as I would recommend that they sue because it's a grueling process. And it, it not only costs a lot of money, it takes a lot out of people. Um, it's much easier to navigate that process as a class, and it's much harder to bring class cases now. Mm -hmm.